Hello, Ali. Would you like some coffee? Yes, thank you. Ow! Oh! Why did my hand do that? Well, you see, Ali, your body reacted to the hot mug by pulling away before it could cause you more harm. This is caused by a spinal reflex. A spinal reflex is a reflex in which signals are sent to the spinal cord but do not reach the brain. The reflex follows a simple flowchart. When there is a stimulus, it activates sensory receptors. These receptors then send a signal through the afferent pathways to the spine. Here in the grey matter of the spine, the sensory neurons synapse into motor neurons. This can either be monosynaptic or polysynaptic depending on how many synapses occur. The signal then moves through the efferent pathways to the organ where it is required. The organ then reacts to the signal and a reflex response is produced. A common example of this is the patellar reflex. This is a monosynaptic reflex which delivers an automatic regulation of skeletal muscle length. Tapping the patella, which is usually done by physicians, is the stimulus. This allows the patella to pull on the tendon of the quadriceps. This activates the muscle spindle in the quadriceps, which will extend the lower leg, making it straighten. This is due to the action potential traveling through the afferent sensory neuron sending signals to the L4 of the spinal cord and synapses. Simultaneously, afferent sensory neurons act indirectly through inhibitory neurons to prevent motor neurons that contract the antagonist muscle, which in this case is the hamstring. After these signals are processed in the integrating center located in the gray matter of the spinal cord, an alpha motor neuron induces an efferent impulse back to the quadriceps. Once this impulse reaches the quadriceps, it responds by contracting and swinging the lower leg forward. Ah. I get it now. Thanks, Akil.